Really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up Look at that, Hollywood. Mad don't got stuff like that, Hollywood. Look at that. Mad don't do stuff like that. Mad don't want nothing like that. That's awesome, man. That's simulation. That's simulation, That ain't no Hollywood. simulation. Bobby, that ain't no simulation, man. Mad don't want that crap. Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we're, gonna, we're back on my GM and it's time for game two with the Boston Celtics. The 2K Sports pregame show. Again, guys, I want to say thank you. I really appreciate it. If you're watching this, this video, is 2K thank you for Sports clicking on this video. Johnson here joined welcome by the back to Shaquille Hollywood Sports. And the equally great Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, we'll be watching the Milwaukee Bucks playing against the Celtics in Boston. Taking a look at the Celtics, coming off a loss in the first game of the season, they'll no doubt be anxious to put tonight's contest in the win column and avoid an 0-2 start. And we expected Giannis Antetokounmpo to continue to improve, but that did not. And we expected Giannis Antetokounmpo, and we expected Giannis Antetokounmpo, <laughs> that's why, and we expected Giannis Antetokounmpo to continue good. to improve, but what a leap he took last year, putting up huge numbers across the board. Guys, he looks like a superstar in this league, doesn't he, Shaq? Ernie OMW. OMW. Oh, my wow. There's nothing that this kid can't do on the floor. Oh, oh my wow. wow. Speed, length, he's impossible to guard. Wow. OMW. OMW is the Man, they got to get Charles sure. Barkley to do this, and man. No limit. Come on, Charles. Come on, Charles. What's his name? OMW. Oh, the Greek freak. Oh, my <laughs> wow. <laughs> to be honest, to the Greek freak. Uh, <laughs> tip off coming up shortly. Time to send it to Kevin. If mama named him the Greek Harlan. freak. I'm gonna call him the Greek freak. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. Game two versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. A terrific evening. Look at Old Town there. The historic one, one, guys. We got to get away. We got to get our first win of the season. And you've got it on 2K Sports for Wednesday night action in the NBA. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. And also joining us on the sideline. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge out on the sideline. David. Well, guys, Giannis Adentacumpo came to the NBA as an unheralded 19-year-old from Greece. But he's been a quick study at the NBA level. One reason? He actually takes notes. He said, we all make mistakes and your mind can't remember them all. In case you guys don't wrong, understand why I do what I do, the, Someday, the channel of Hollywood Sports, guys, is about really. It's about authentic. Sports fascinating stuff, Thank you so I try much. to portray my videos like you Kevin, would see you on TV, known as guys. To play and That's what the channel of Hollywood Jim Sports Randall. is all about. What did you do when true a simulation, would, uh, ask true you authenticity. Let's sit out this if I said Let's that right, stuff. that's a big word. Would you just say, I'll let you know when I can't I try to keep everything authentic, guys. You know what I've always asked the coach to respect? I hope you enjoy the video. Let's do it. I've always asked them to respect the way I approach the game. I've always asked the coach to respect me and my expertise and knowing my let's go, body. Horford. Let's go, very, Horford. very vocal. Listen, oh, man, one person let's go. needs rest, and it's me. I know how to raise my hand. I know how to oh, say we, I need we, some rest. We, we lacking on defense right, you know, already? I'm a person who likes to push through a lot of things. I'm a person who understands rest. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I'm a person who understands that practice makes perfect. And if I can work on something for as long as I can to make something better. I thought I turned the shot me to all. I need it, especially when I die. I just call Distracted. it. When I call, I need the answer. I'm going to try not to watch it. the starters for Milwaukee. Mark Come on, Boston. Play some deep, Ray. Let's go. In the middle. Stay with him, man. Stay with him. Stay with him. Oh, we're down four nothing already. Come on, guys. And guys, this is all star uh, difficulty. We didn't know. We're playing all star. You know what? Area 21 is something that is authentic. It's me. Um, I'm having a great time. Oh, it's good deep. Games. It's really cool being a fan now. I can I can root for people I want to root for. I don't have to worry about <laughs> preparing and who I'm going to guard. And, uh, and, and I'm 
getting to teach, so you know what? It's a great time. Uh, it's work. You know, it's not just you go in there and you have a bunch of fun. You know, we actually get some things done, and uh, but we have a great time, man. You're a natural. Hey, Kev, listen, watching you, being around you, <laughs> you know, man, man, the great rest in peace to Craig, you know, Ernie, all of Charles, all these great influences, man, has, has definitely helped. Uh, not just me, but our younger goodness, generation goodness. Of, of broadcasters, man. It's totally, I didn't see this being my lane, but I'm having fun with it. You're doing a great job. You know, Ante Tacumpo, just incredibly talented, a long, lakey, athletic Ooh. powerhouse. Two misses, baby, I like it. So neither attempt will fall that time for me. And KG, two decades later, you still look the same. You don't age. You do not. You. Man, you listen, do not listen, age. Man, listen, I wish I could use the Beyonce. I woke <laughs> up like this. But actually, I woke up like this and worked out some more, and then worked out a little more to look like this. You look terrific. You look great too, man. What, man, what's your secrets, man? I, I'm, I'm following you, watching yeah, your right, advice. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. You've been doing this way, man. Ken, what, what year is this for you, seriously? Uh, Broadcast in the NBA. Uh, 20 years, and then 12 years with with uh, 2K. You're a beast, man. You know what I love about 2K, man? They bring the best thing for the game. There we go. We're on the board, baby. Yeah. Oh, that's Stay why we've got down. you. But, Kevin, you play, you play this game a lot, don't man, you? Two, Especially when you were young. Man, listen, man. 2K is it, bro. There's no other games out here. This is what it is. If you play basketball, if you're online, nobody's playing any, nothing else. This is it. Yeah. 2K is the cream of the crop. It's the gang game. They know what it is. It's lit. They know what it is. Seriously. They, they, they got to do this. They know. Kevin, um, of all the people you've faced, who is the toughest guy for you to score against down low? We'll pick that geography. <laughs> who is the toughest to score against down there? Listen, I know a lot Let's of people go. have always Let's said go. Sheen Wallace. I've always said uh, Tim Duncan. They're probably the two that brought a different level of play out of me. But shout to Cliff Robinson, man. Cliff Robinson. I don't know if people know this, but Robinson. Cliff Robinson, man. Cliff Robinson was one of the better defenders in the post. He was very strong. He was Stay very long. Stay with him. He didn't go for any counters. He was very I disciplined. I like your defense, baby. Let's go. He was well Keep him outside. Don't let him come inside. Because he was a veteran. That's all. Get the boys. Crash. Let's go. Touching and grabbing. He knew when to be physical in some positions. He knew to do what we call work early. Uh, he would meet you at the three-point line. He would be fighting you, and you would post up probably like a step outside the three-point line. Like he was really good at some of his techniques and how he was able to control the post. After Cliff left the game, I watched a lot of his tape, and I took a lot of his, uh, no I, I had to because it was so effective against me that I was able to use it against other post players on the defensive end. I like, never knew that story. Dennis Rodman was another guy a lot, I watched a lot. Akeem Olajuwon I watched a lot because these guys were laterally very similar Nobody to Akeem hit the Akeem Olajuwon was long. He was able to laterally move with you. I was laterally able oh, to move with you. Oh, able to laterally what? slide with some of the uh, That wasn't goal the, uh, More laterally uh, gifted. Uh, we'll block, man. We're playing some D.I.P. Oh! Able to get my feet together, being able to block shots, <laughs> challenge the rim, stuff like that. Things that... If you're going to get that better was something, you've got to go day. reach and find the great ones that did it before you and take it, and then I was able to apply it, and I did those things. Good pass, baby. Good pass. Gets it to go on the assist by Irving. Yeah, that's what you want from Irving. He's a point guard who is always looking to distribute the rock. And it's Parker in the corner. Another miss by Parker. Hope you guys like the camera angle. I like, I like to get it zooming in and out on the action, guys. Some of these great graphics. Tie game in Boston. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. So far, it's been a closely contested game as we get Low the second scoring quarter. game. Nobody can sh hit, hit the shots, man. Oh, we got Tatum in the game, baby. Yes. Rosia. the Celtics with the ball. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. And their defense practically non-existent in that one. Just gave up far too many easy shots. You could say they certainly were not on oh, the good put back. defensive end. They need to be so much better moving forward. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. Setting the floor for the Bucks. Andy Jacumbo is out there with Matthew Delavido. Then it's John Henson. Then there's Maker. And it's Snell in at the three. Pass to Rogier. The feed to Horford. Pass to Brock. Just five on the clock. 
comes up empty from 19 feet out. Boy, the mid-range becomes slightly more difficult when the defense is as active as they are there. Kevin, some of the relatively new rules protecting players, the breakaway, the flagrant one, the flagrant mm -hmm. two, are you in favor? Oh, oh, wow. 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 He took the baseline and took it all the way. Talk about putting some extra oh, man. on it. Come that on, guys. we got to cut that off. The top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Kevin, growing up watching the game of basketball, who are some of your earliest influences? My early influences in the game of basketball was Magic Johnson, uh, obviously Michael Jordan, uh, and then Chris Webber. Chris Webber, Malik Sealy was kind of like the younger generation of uh, my inspiration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. St. John's was one of the destinations. Michigan was one of my college destinations. So those guys were my natural inspirations yes. early on when I was young. The Celtics have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Here's Rozier, ended by Della Vadova. Here's Tatum. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Yeah, you, you love the solid screen, but what you hate is just the inability to finish. Well, you know, that's okay, I think. Even though they miss, they still have to be happy with the shot selection. All right, a moment to check out stats for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Great showing for him last season. He averaged about 23 points a game last year. Eight rebounds and five assists. He has been terrific throughout, putting up some huge numbers. Pronounce his name. Well, and this is exactly who he is, a flat-out scoring machine. You plug him in and let him go to work. The first free throw is good. Austin making a switch here. Morris has checked in. So he gets them both. So it's the Celtics now. They trail by three, and they're off to Philadelphia after this game as they'll take on the 76ers. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Now here's Tatum. He's guarded close. Yep, it counts. Man, I like the fact that Tatum has not abandoned the inside game. Solid at finding space around the rim. Let's All starts with defense, baby. Let's go. Onto the Kumbo against Brown. Now here's Ante de Kumbo. Tight defense wow. out. And it goes down two points. Yeah, I thought he was rushing his shot early on, but not here in the second quarter. KG, I know you can't stay any longer. You've got to move on, but we appreciate your time, and it's always great to see you. Kev, anytime, man. It's great to see you, man. Anytime you need me, you let me know, man. Your former MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, and champion Kevin Garnett. And Doris, one of the things that really strikes me about KG, he's as strong as he is, baby. athletically gifted. What a treat to have him join us tonight. Well, I'm in awe of his enthusiasm. And it's not just when he's talking, but when others are talking as well. There's so much life to the conversation. Everything he brought to the court for 21 years, he now brings to the booth. Give and go, give and go. Maker. And after that well, ragged first now. quarter, they're getting some momentum, some confidence. Nice flow. Rozier kicks to Tatum. Seventeen seconds left in the first half of the game. Well, he carves out the space he needs. Just the finish was not good. Up again. It's good on the putback. Ooh, that's box out. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. There's Rozier, and no good trying to get that one. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Thanks, Kevin. Jason, a hard-fought first half. How do you assess the game so far? We're going to need everybody. And the one thing we got to do is we can't settle. We got to keep attacking, get the ball in the paint. Use that length to your advantage. Thanks, Jason. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It is a good game we have here after one half of play. Everybody, welcome back for our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. A competitive matchup for Milwaukee in the first quarter. They did jump out to a lead in the opening period, but four points was the biggest it got. 
They asserted themselves nicely in the second quarter and now have a fairly comfortable five-point lead here at halftime. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? They were really efficient on offense. She had the basketball well, great shot selection. That accounted for a high field goal percentage in the first half. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Celtics? Well, this is a close game. Every point matters. Right now, they're not getting to the line much. To win this kind of matchup, you got to be the aggressive. It, baby. You got to be, ah, you just got to be aggressive. Low shooting percentage, Let's just see if they can, ah, ramp we'll up there. Right there winning, guys. Early. They out rebounding us, though. And that will wrap up our halftime report, as it's just about time for the start of the second half. Never a shortage of motion on Soldiers Field Road as we welcome you back to historic Boston. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. You have to like what we're seeing. One trend we've seen, Doris, is the shift away from one primary ball handler toward a more collective approach. Is that a you think ball? that changes like that in, in real life? Life? Well, it'll be interesting. I, I do think the NBA is very much a copycat league. So you think back to the 90s and the slow down, grinded battles between the Miami Heat and the New York Knicks to now the pace and space offenses that is so much fun for us to watch. What's the next evolution? We saw the San Antonio you get Kyrie going. play big. Is there a team that wants to reformulate the NBA, find success? As you know, everybody's trying to beat the champ. And right now, the champ is all about pace and space and equal opportunity offense. Indeed. This is the four with Horford in the middle. Kyrie Irving is out there with Smart. And it's Hayward in at the three slot. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. The Celtics trail by three. Here's Smart. That's tipped. Now here's the fast break. Parker leading the way. Over in the corner, onto Dekumbo. Pass to Brogdon. Monroe sets a screen for Brogdon. Feeds Good to defense, Monroe. Baby. Rocket six. Yeah, what a Knocked loose. Fires from the wing. And the shot no good. A bit short. Maybe not that time, but he'll hit right his now. share if he's left open. Here's Morris. Excellent D there from Parker. Those are chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Here's what? Monroe. Here's Honda Takumbo. Up and in on the layup. Honda Takumbo's got the lead up to five now for Milwaukee. Hey guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. On its way from Irving for two. Rebound Giannis under the Kumbo. They've got to start working for better shots. Just one for four in the second half so far. You know, so Ooh, many we people get were back on defense, man, but that was Irving a good shot by Throughout uh, the decades, uh, uh, Boston's been Kyrie. unafraid to pull the trigger. I mean, they moved up to number two to draft the great Bill Russell, moving back to number three to draft McHale at Parrish, assembling the big three for a championship, then dismantling that big three for all those unprotected picks. This is an organization oh, that's at heat. nothing to try and win titles. And not just sustaining the lead that they're adding to it right and this is precisely what you want to do build up the lead and keep the pressure on Morris dishes to Hayward Horford with the screen on under the Kumbo here's Morris bounces high Woo, up got like it and the confidence of Morris even with the hand in his face he knows he can deliver screen by Parker Then against Irving. High arcing shot, and it's sent back by Horford. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Morris passes to Irving. It's over Brogdon, and it's Irving missing. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Monroe with a screen on Hayward. Hayward against Zonda de Kumbo. A shot missing. Good work defensively by Horford. Now here's Smart, defended by Middleton.
from 11 feet away. And we that can't one hit is nothing. Down. And the D does just enough to throw off his rhythm on that shot. Offline. Wow. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Huxley by seven. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. And meanwhile, Coach Brad Stevens talking to his team. Ace of play is a big part of tonight, okay? Make sure on the bench when we come back, we lift it, we lift it. And the team's great young teachers, Brad Stevens, wanting his guys to control the tempo. Yeah, and he feels if they push it, if they attack intelligently, it's going to be to their advantage. Just one quarter left in regulation. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got. Maker out there with John Henson. Then it's Matthew Delavidova. Then it's Chris Middleton. And it's Snell in at the three spot. Now, here is Irving. He's tightly guarded. Another miss by Irving. Bucks leading by 10. Here's Snell. Delavidova kicks to Middleton. In the corner, it's Maker. Kicks it to Delavidova. Back to Henson. Middleton dishes to Maker. Bucks passing it around. Now here's Middleton, guarded by Smart. From deep, Maker misses. A key rebound there, but they can do a little better on the glass here down the stretch. From the low block, and Maker Come on. It back. And he's able to get it back. Tatum kicks to Brown. Stripped away. Wow. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. The shot by Middleton, wide open. A three-pointer, no good. Celtics trail by 10. Tatum with it. At the top of the key, Bain. Again, the miss by the Celtics. For Milwaukee, they've gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. And it's Delvin over missing. Well, for the Celtics, this one not looking good. Nothing doing offensively yet for them in the fourth. Irving, good. You know, what you love about Kyrie is that Check he's Kyrie. always prepared to shoot when he is roaming in space. Timeout called the Bucks. They're leading by seven. 153 left in the fourth quarter. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And, and to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I don't know who's playing the game already. Driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile they gave him the game already. tonight. Some changes for Boston. Al Horford's checked in for Aaron Baines. Morris comes in for Tatum. And Gordon Hayward is subbed in for Jalen Brown. The box also changing it up. Monroe's checked in for John Henson. Jabari Parker comes in for Thon Maker. And Brogdon subbed in for Matthew Delavidova. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to listen in on what Jason Kidd was talking about with his players. He told them, put your foot on their neck. Take it to them. I want to see you guys slow it down out there, use the clock, and stay away from silly fouls. Let's see if they can execute the plan, guys. Back to Brogdon. This one for three. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. And when you're down this many points, hard to justify leaving a good shooter that wide open. Right. If you want to get back in the game, you simply can't afford to let long-range shooters get comfortable. And, and so only one team answered the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for the Bucks. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And against a conference opponent, always good to take well, that first like we're win gonna go of the on two, guys. On a psychological edge. And, you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Giannis Antetokounmpo. 
boy, with all the work he did at the offensive end, it seemed to me to take a toll on the defenders. They could neither match his energy nor his intensity. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Thon Maker comes in for Parker, and it's Matthew Dellavedova in for Tony Snell. Here's Irving. Can they get it? And Horford with the lay-in. You love how Al Horford used Al his legs played good to corral game. that offensive yes. board. He keeps possessions alive with his activity. Elvidova, the pass to Middleton. There's a good screen. Brogdon kicks to Maker. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. And the Bucks lead by 16. And that's a killer instinct on display as they try to put this one on ice. I think that's exactly the mentality you have to have. You don't want to give this team any hope of coming back. So no problem All right, there you go, guys. They get the win. We took it in done. You're in Boston. Dominate the We're a young team, guys. But we got some, we got some, we got some good in us. You know, we got some push in us. We got some fight in us. We're not getting it done right just now. We got to improve our shooting percentage. That's a big and thing right now. Our shooting percentage. All right, guys. If you enjoyed the video, again, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. Hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, though, guys, hit that subscribe button and join the team of Hollywood. As always, until next time How everybody able to thanks for watching it's been tough to tell you the truth but you know the race is not one to the swift but the one to endure so i'm trying to keep that motor you have certainly endured and thrived jabari thanks for your time kevin back to you all right david thank you and that'll wrap it up folks for greg anthony doris burke and david aldridge and the rest of our terrific crew this is kevin harlan saying thanks for watching we'll see you next time